I love examining stuff, even though it's random. What's that on TV? Looks like some sort of action hero show. Oh, I know that one! That's the Sniffling Samurai! His booger flick attack is a big hit with the gray screw crowd. I had no idea you like this kind of stuff, Mr. Right? Well, what else is there to do when you're stuck in bed? Besides, the episodes will just keep piling up if I don't keep up, you know? Um, yeah. Try not buying them. Now it's the only time to get a w to watch and write up, up my reports. Your reports? It's a long story. Like a long of things, actually. Okay, I guess I'll fool around. I wonder if I can move. Well, there's no point in moving. <laughs> I like fooling around, don't I? What's that? Looks strangely familiar. How could you not recognize an attorney's badge? It's been seven years. I've forgotten a lot of things. I guess I'm seven years longer than others. That was fun. <laughs> Papa on his hat. Because he's is the daddy of GC. What happened? So, what happened? Who could have imagined it? Me, a victim of a hit and run. And you're still alive? I hit and... You were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve. I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air. Only stopping when my head hit that telephone pole. You hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? You're not dead? Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. He really is as lucky as they say. He is very lucky. I'm telling you, I, that is not possible. Well, that's his name is Phoenix Strike, like a Phoenix a rebirth and stuff. <sighs> About Tracy. There's something that, well, it just doesn't sit right. I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Wright. And she's so big! Not fat, but er, you know what I mean. Oh, Trucy's still a child. Daddy, how many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore! <laughs> but you'll always be daddy's little baby girl to me, Trucy. Ah uh, ha ha, my foot. I'm not buying it. <laughs> oh, something you should know about Trucy. She's a magician, right? She told me. Not a mere stage magician. She's a genius. Tee hee, aw, daddy. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. You could just tell me things instead of insinuating them. He's always mysterious, isn't he? Right talent agency. So, why should you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get prickly now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this! Huh? But didn't you come into the office of your own free will anyway? Well, yeah, of course. Help! We're in big trouble here! The office is big! I thought someone was dying. So you don't think this is big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people, and one of them is in the hospital. Agency with only two people. Hmm. That's right, Daddy. How are we going to pay this month's rent and the groceries? I'm guessing they're pretty tight when, when it comes to money. Yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a symb symbiotic uh, relationship. When one of us falls, the other two must fall. Hey, this is exactly a suitable conversation to be having with a 15-year-old kid! In any case, if Paulo here can't help you, you'll have to transfer to a new school again. No, I can't! I only just made friends! How could you do this to me? To us! Polly! Huh? What? Now it's my fault? Not Paulo's nickname. Oh, on that note, how about you come work for us? I've got the perfect client for you already lined up. Uh, a client? You mean I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? He wants us to do his job because, you know, he's been working so hard just to become a, a, def a defense attorney. Hmm. Alright, I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, Daddy! Hook, line, and sinker! Aha, uh -huh. now it's time to reel him in. It's official, I'm scared. They're... Uh, words. They're gaining on you. Yeah, uh, well, client. Alright, so who's the client? Ah, uh, yes, here. Take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night I left the office just before 9 o'clock. I was going to that Indochine pasta joint, El Dente's. Tez, I don't know how to say it. I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. Hey, that's when they opened a cinematic. The car sent me flying, nicked a, uh, nicked a telephone pole, and zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the whole story like it was no big deal. 
The car sped off in this direction. So, good luck. Huh? You wanted a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Find the guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. Well, hold on! I'm a defense attorney, not a detective! Don't worry. Once you found the guy, I intend to sue him. Then you can stick it to him in court. I'm not a prosecutor either! I'm sorry, but uh, this is crazy. I'm going home. Don't get so worked up. I was just... It was just a joke. That wasn't funny. Huh? Oh, Daddy. Sorry, pal. He just loves jokes, you know? Even the ones that aren't very funny. Uh-huh. A real client should be stopping by the office any time now. The office? You mean the town agency? No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. One more thing. Do a look into my accident, too, would you? I marked the scene of the tragedy on this map. Hmm. It's right in front of this park. Should be easy to find. So, he's going to make me investigate this after all. Map adds with record. Well, since there's nothing else I can do here, let's move out. Let's move, go back to the right talent agency. It's like a point and click adventure. June 15, 10 05 a.m., right talent agency. Whenever you see, like, the opening thing, it says, like, the date and the time and the place, that's when you know that something new is happening. Uh, going on this place, and you need to look around. Hey, hey, hey! How long are you planning on making me wait, eh? Ah, good morning! Hey there, juicy dog. Sounds like your pops had a bit of a rough spot, eh? All's well, then, well, I guess. This is our client. Hey, so this is that Apollo fellow, eh? Uh, uh, yes! The name's Apollo. He likes to make, make mix up people his name, does don't they? Ah, yeah, words. <laughs> Look at him, their arms all crossed like ready to fight. Yes, sir. You don't mean that literally, do you? The boss told you what I need, right? Don't let me down now, but Apollo, don't, don't worry about your defense, sir. I'm on it. Defense? Your noodle half cooked? It's too late for defense. My cat's been stolen. My keep's been kept. My noodle stand has been stolen. N noodle? You know Mr. Aldoom from the noodle stand, don't ya, Polly? No nicknames, please. And no, of course I don't know him. You new in these bots? Not really. Then you know the best noodles in town, Aldoom's noodles. Uh, whose noodles? My noodles! Uh, er, help me out here, Juicy Doll. This is Mr. Guy Aldoom, our client. I know, he's a guy, whatever. And Aldoom is noodle spelled backwards, so it's like... Yeah, it's awesome. Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. Aldoon. He plays harmonica. So awesome. Anything for you, Juicy Got Doll? Eh, words. There's no point in examining the place. Um, let me present the attorney's badge because I can. Yeehaw! At a boy, wait to flash him. Oh, Phoenix used to do that to my pops all the time. Your father? Yep, he put that bad boy out and said, "Put it on my tag, you know, tab. You know, I'm good for it." Have that a new joint? <laughs> it looks like a noodle bowl and I said, he who's this guy? So you run on a noodle stand, Mr. Eldoon. Guy Eldoon's the name and noodles on my game. The secrets in the soup. I've been searching for the perfect soup for half and a year a year and a half. Oh, that's not that long really. My fam has been a noodle man for generations. It's got a little expectation on my shoulders. Fifteen fathers passing the noodles with fifteen sons. That's a pretty old noodle. I am fool that I was. I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops and picked another livelihood. But that didn't turn out so well. Oh. There was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy! So, it was like destiny that you became what you are. Right, destiny's word. Oh, I fought it. But in the end, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. Also, noodle puns. Or noodle words and noodle lines, noodles. Not a, not a mental image I care to linger on. So last year I started my noodle stand, the 15th generation of Eldoon's noodles. Yum yum. Um, so tell me more about Eldoon's noodles. You don't know the gen genus of my noodles? I make them so salty, why well, they're saltier than salt! I really don't want to find out. 
<laughs> Daddy's a regular at his noodle stand. He forgot my pop stand back during his attorney's days, too. Yep, him and his assistant. I'm sorry. I'll be sure to drop by your stand soon. Uh, in the Japanese version, um... Uh, it's, okay, you, okay, they talk about eating burgers and stuff, but in the Japanese version, they, it's like noodles, so... Yeah, so it's a bit strange, because Phoenix and his assistant, Maya, um, they eat, they eat noodles in the Japanese version, but in English, they eat burgers, so it's a bit inconsistent, but oh well. <sighs> wish you could, Sonny! Uh, heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a ball about now. What do you mean? It was stolen! It's my stand! Gone! Stolen? Stone stand. It was last night. And it was doing my rounds, blowing my whistle. He calls the whistle even though it's a harmonica. It's like an ice cream truck spelled out louder. He even got a complaint. Gets complaints. <laughs> now he's just trying to bother me up. That sounded more like the blues than a whistle. I closed up my stand for the night and parked by the house. Then, this morning, dark and early! It was gone! My keep! My castle! Ooh! Opening cinematic. Yep. Maybe some bum cut it off? Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without the stand, I'm finished. Look, look at this the hair is inside his mouth. And his hair looked like noodles. Ah, noodles! He's eating his noodles. Yeah. Some of these, like, sprite animations are just so hilarious. All my noodles balls were in there, too. That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. More sad than your father getting hit by a car. You know it. Anyhow, that's the deal. Good luck. Good... Huh? Wait. What exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. And the day you bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Wow. Of course, I make it so hot and salty. Two bulls killed a man. Then I really need defense. Uh, I don't think it's... Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. Lifetime supply of noodles. That could kill you. Yeah, nice. This is where I live. You drop by if you need any info, okay? Hey, that's not pretty far. Get it back today if you can, Paolo. I got noodles to make. Things have generally taken a turn for the bazaar. Traffic accidents and noodles and thieves. Um, actually... There was something I wanted to ask you about, too, Apollo. Huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, this is the lady's problem now. Don't you be cruel. What? You're still here? I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving and skull duggery? Well, um, someone stole a pair of my panties. Panties? What? Okay. Um, so they were, um, stolen, your, er, my panties, yes. Ah, er, right, panties. That's crunch, and that is Tristel. He's not feeling awkward, but Paulo is. I was alone in the office last night. I had hung my panties out the window there to dry. Then a thief came and took them, my favorite panties. Flashbacks from the cinematics. Yeah. Oh. I ran to him. I ran after him. Give those back! I shouted, wait! Well, that was certainly brave of you. But I, I lost him. Without those panties, I don't know what I'll do. I don't want crunch and yep. Well, at least the scene of the crime is convenient. I don't think there's any clues here, though. I examined everything. I'll mark it on your map. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my stand, or there's an empty bull in your future, Paulo. Alright. You help out, Tristadel, here too, you hear? Three cases. Things I truly picked up, haven't they? We had no work yesterday, and now we have three cases! I... I guess. Let's see, where we stand? Not in a card room, that is, that's where. Well, the first item on our list. Phoenix, right. Daddy's hit and run accident. You have to find the one who hit him. Who's gonna pay us for this again? And the second item... Mr. Eldu's request to find a stolen stand, for which we stand again a full of salty noodles. And the last request is mine! Find my stolen panties! That bowl of noodles is looking better and better.
Let's go, Polly, to the streets. Aren't you enthusiastic? How could I not be? Let's crack these cases, you and me. <sighs> Guess we might as well get started. Let's see, hit and run, a stone stand, and last but not least, stolen panties. Girls underwear, yay! It's fun. 